Good morning everyone. Today I'm here with my Joann's box opening and then a leaving video, probably a time lapse. I also have my pre-ordered book came at the same time, so I'm going to show that in this video as well just because it's easier to open both at the same time. So let's get them open. today. I also hope you can hear me because my mic is still broken. So I'm just using the camera audio. Slice this one open at the same time. Okay. As expected, this box is way too big for the yarn that's inside it. I don't know what it is about Joann's, but they underfill their boxes. Okay, where do I start? For my temperature blanket, I needed more Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton. I did not realize that these are so much bigger than the ones that I already had. The ones I already had were like, I don't know, 100 yards each. And these are apparently twice that. Which is cool, I'll just have a lot of yarn left over because I bought two black. And I only got one of this one, but I only need one of this one. This kind of looks like a different color than I thought it was, but we'll, I'll have to compare it. Uh, I think I got three of these because I had used so much of it so far. Definitely have gonna have extra of that one. Two gray. Three of these. Teal. Okay. So, f I guess they sent the Kobu in a separate package. I had ordered some hot pink Kobu as well. But for the scarf I'm going to be weaving today, it will either use this pink Lily and Sugar Cream Cotton, or this pink True Boo. Haven't actually worked with True Boo yet, I've bought it a few times, but it's just in my stash because I'm not 100% certain what to do with it. It is very soft though. And it might be fun to try this one out, and I think the recipient would appreciate it. So we're, we're going to weave with this one. And then the last thing I have in here, because like I said, they way under packed this box and put the Kobu in a different box. I ordered two touch of linen. So this one is the new one that I had never heard of before. It's 51% cotton, 49% linen, uh, 3.5 ounces, 197 yards. What, what weight does that say that is? medium. It's kind of a, a thin medium. I would probably say it's more of a DK than a worsted, but it is interesting. It's not like super soft, which linen isn't super soft. It softens with use usually. This color is called leek, like a, a vegetable, not a leaky boat. And this one is slate. I, just, I don't know. I kind of like bright green yellows and dark grays together. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Maybe just for fun I'll use, the, use it for the linen stitch because that would amuse me. I don't know yet. So we got that. We got to put these all back in the box. I'll put them away later. I have to organize my temperature blanket basket so that I have one of each color in there and put the extras away. Okay, so the other package that came, I did not expect this to come this fast because it was a pre-order and I thought pre-orders you usually pre-order them like months ahead of time, but it didn't show up to pre-order until like a week ago, which is just kind of weird to me, but maybe that's just how Amazon did it. I don't know. Okay, so, 
working on crochet. It's only 20 crochet patterns, but let's see. It goes from easy ones like Gengar, Jigglypuff, Wobbuffet, Snorlax, and Pichu to Charmander, Dragonite, Eevee, Flareon, Meowth, Pikachu, Psyduck, and Squirtle, and then Bulbasaur, Charizard, Jolteon, Lapras, Magikarp, Vaporeon, and Vulpix. So yeah, that's only 20. Pretty cute though. And it does say it calls for cotton yarn, which thankfully I have a lot of, both because of this, but also I had a large stash of it. I just didn't have these colors specifically. Like I had them, but not enough of them for the blanket I'm making. But I have a whole bag of like yellows and oranges stored away. Yeah, 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 okay. How to crochet basics, I can do all of that stuff. Okay, cool. It's, a, it's gonna be a lot of like individual small parts added together, which is what I expected. Pretty good photography though. These are nice. Dragonite's kind of funny looking. Eevee's cute. Actually, look, Larion's pretty cute. Alright, so I'm going to get the loom well warped up for the weaving portion, and I'll see you soon. notes on my floor to where to put the loom to have it be various lengths while I'm warping it so I believe this is roughly nine feet long if you include the fringe so I'm hoping the person it's for likes that she's very tall <laughs> uh, much taller than me so yeah now as for the yarn itself I did go with the true boo as the warp and it is a really pretty color 
and it did, I mean not as the warp, as the weft, and it did weave really well. Um, I didn't have any particular itch issues with it. I wasn't sure if the splittiness would be a problem. I know when I'm crocheting it's really splitty, but with weaving that's not usually as big an issue. Sometimes it is. There, I do have one yarn that I tried weaving with and the splittiness made it really hard. But this one was fine. Ironically, pretty much as soon as I finished the scarf, the kobu arrived. This was the other option that I had ordered as a possibility for this scarf. Looking at it now, though, I don't think it goes as well as the pink for the true boo, so that works for me. So yeah, I'm going to get another scarf warped up within the next few days. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing yet, but I did just get, let's see if I can reach it, the sock yarn in the mail, and I think it would make a fabulous scarf. Look at that. It's very electric. I, this is like my favorite shade of pink right here. I love it. So yeah, this this is an option. I might go with that. Um, beyond that, I guess I have some crocheting videos coming up and I do have some spinning videos because my spunky eclectic April package came. I don't know how well you can see the colors. And I know the Paradise Fibers one is coming any day now. So yeah, plenty of videos coming up. I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks for sticking around.